me, as I reflect on what went down Monday at Rogers Arena, maybe the greatest takeaway, if something could sum up the 82 <laughs> games that we watched, and he wasn't here for all 82 of them, but... <laughs> They trot the Canuck players out four by four, right. put them up at the podium. You know, they say what they say, and then away you go. I don't know if fans realize that one guy wasn't presented on Monday. Of course, they Monday. don't realize. Right, nobody's figured it they out. They didn't even realize if he was playing games Nobody or not. missed him when he was playing. Marcus Granlin was not, and I shouldn't say he wasn't made available to the media. Yeah. He just, he wasn't put on the podium right. with the rest of these players. And then the Canucks PR staff at the end of the day said, well, he's here, and if anybody wants him, you know, we can make him available. Does that not sum up? Yeah. And, and there were no takers, by the way. Yeah, no one wants to talk to And him. he's not a terrific quote. He is a bad quote. So, he's, he's I mean, great. all that, take that into account. But doesn't that just kind of sum up Marcus Granlin and the Vancouver Canucks season that, you know, a guy can just kind of lurk in the weeds, nobody wants him, nobody needs him, yeah. and off he For goes me, in the summer. it kind of sums up the last few weeks of this. I'd watch games, and I'd have no idea, like, is Higgins? I couldn't. Is Higgins hurt or is he playing? Is Granlin still hurt or is he back? Is Vay hurt or is he playing? Like there was like six or seven guys on a nightly basis, like in the middle of each game. I would think to myself, I don't, I don't know if what's happening. Is this guy here? I have no idea. Is he playing this game? Is he out hurt? I have no clue. 